Hi there, how are you doing today? I'm Darren. I'm back again with another question on Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. I got another question, and the question goes thus. After labs and sets, how else can one show proficiency in DevOps, like projects and portfolio? Yeah, that's a very good question, to be honest, because, of course, uh, showcasing your proficiency gives you opportunity to get roles and contracts and things that help you earn income with the skills that you have so this is a very good question to ask and i'm almost certain a lot of people will be asking those questions so i've done the sats i've done the fundamentals i've done an associate level exam i've done the expert level exam how do i show that i know what i say i know now one of the things i tell folks a lot is as you're learning document the process and put it online that is one important thing document the process and put it online yes you're preparing uh you might be a private person that is totally fine document this process put it online maybe on your website on your github you can use all this free website making tools if you don't want to spend the money into making your own website uh but of course it's advisable you have your website also if you're someone that that's looking to be really professional uh Put your learning process online, the skills you've learned along the way. Of course, if you're doing private projects, do not put details of those private projects online. You want to show examples from them, not the entire project. Do not go against your contract rules. Okay. Now, that aside, you also want to join a community. Joining community is essential if you really want to showcase your skills. And how do I mean by this? When you join a community of developers, of DevOps engineers, of certified people, you volunteer to speak you volunteer to contribute to discussions to programs to events this way people who attend those community events will see you you connect you make a network with them and then they'll be able to refer you for jobs for gigs for projects and stuff because they can see that you know what so for example you've been just certified in let's say azure as a as a developer associate, okay, you've done easy tool for in your past. You might want to give a talk on how I passed my two or four tips and tricks. All right, that is you showing proficiency in that exam. Now it doesn't mean that you're teaching them how to pass the exam. Essentially, it doesn't mean you're teaching them the whole course, but you're showing that I've written this exam, I know what it takes, and I'm showcasing it. Now, take for example, one of the sponsors of that meetup is attending that event that day, and they need an Azure developer. That is an opportunity for you to get a job so they say that oh you're speaking you know is it 204 you might actually come train some of our guys or you might be a full-time agile developer in our organization so joining community is one of the best ways you can showcase your skills and of course making content just like this now for me i wouldn't say i know a lot to be honest of course i, I do know a lot quite a bit but i don't know a lot but the little i know i try to share it online that is how i show prof that is why you're able to ask me this question because i show that i care so make videos like this make a blog post contribute on forums you don't have to make your own website if you don't want to okay Con there's medium there's ash no there's p there's places where you can actually put answers to questions stack overflow is there answer questions on stack overflow there's stack overflow jobs where you can see gigs and stuff there's just quite a lot essentially you want to be giving back that knowledge little by little and then step by step little by little you'll be getting discovered and that's where you can add those talks those blog posts those forum contributions those uh events you've identified you can start adding them to your portfolio little by little without even actually having to do a real world project on whatever certification you have which i know it's hard to do to actually have a project if you don't have the connection to do a project so you want to be showcasing this by giving talks by making videos like this you can make a youtube video or a tiktok video an instagram reel that says oh here are five steps to pass your easy tool for example you put all those funny sounds one two three four five you put all those steps people follow you they discover you organizations actually see these videos you put online so that way you are able to show that you know what you say you know and I hope that answered your question. Of course, if you have further questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section or most importantly, put it in the form link showing on the screen right now and in the one I'll put in the video description. And of course, please like this video. Like, like, like this video and share with your friends and family to help this channel and also help people discover videos just like this one. Until I come your way again with another video, you know what I say. Stay safe and goodbye. I'll be seeing you at the top.